kids an express class what we learn we learn about the order property what do you mean by order property by changing the order of the addends means first addend we are going to consider as a second addend and the second addend we are going to consider as a first addend means if to change of the addends if we did this there will be no changes in the sum means by changing the order of the addends there will be no changes in the sum the sum what we will get same we will get there will be no change in the sum how with the help of cauliflower examples we learned yesterday going to today's class we will learn the same exercise exercise 2.5 and the order property okay with some of the examples i will teach you how to solve the order property examples see children the question what we are learning write this addition sentence in different orders see children write this addition sentence these all are addition sentence what they are learning which sign they are learning addition sign they are learning so we have to write this addition sentence in different order means what we have to do first we have to write as it is first order first array second array then how we have to do we have to interchange the addends means our second array we have to consider as the first and the first array we consider as the second then we have to see either there will be any change in the sum or not we have to observe now with the first example i will show you how to write the addition sentence and how to find the different orders see children i put in the first block how many dots we are having one two two dots we are having and in the second block how many dots we are having one two three we are having three dots in the second block and two dots in the first block so as it is first adding as a two dots second adding as a three dot we have to write means 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 this we already know next step means second addition sentence how we have to write means our first we have to consider as a second adding here two dots i wrote here 1 2 3 these three dots this is our second adding we are going to consider as a first adding here the order of the addings changes here as a second first addend as a second and second addend as a first but the sum what we will get we will get the same see children 2 is the first addend 3 is the second addend what the total we will get 1 2 3 4 5 the total 5 we will get next addition sentence what we are adding 3 is the first addend and 2 is our second addend now count what the sum what we will get 1 2 3 4 5 the sum is same itself there will be no change in the sum going to the next 1 2 3 we are having 3 dots in the first box 1 2 3 4 3 sorry 4 dots in the second box see children 3 plus 4 what the total we will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we will get the sum as 7 next what we have to do we have to we have to change now children we will consider the second and then the first how many dots we have in the second box 4 dots taken as the first and then and in the first box we are having 3 dots take as a this consider as a second adding. Now count the dots. 4 plus 3. What the total we will get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is our sum. Next, 1, 2. 2 in the first box and 2 in the second box. Now we to change. Write down second box at first and first box as the second. The sum we will get 4 itself. There will be no change. Now count out how many dots we are having in the first box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We 
we are having five dots in the first box. One, two, three, four. Four dots in the second box. Now what we have to do? We have to interchange the add ends. Means second we have to write as the first. One, two, three, four. Four we have to write as the first. One, two, three, four, five. This five we have to write as the second. See children. Five plus four. Nine we will get. Then four is our first add end. Five is our second add end. The total what we will get? We will get nine itself. There will be no changes in the sum. Now we are having first only one add end in the first box. Two add ends in the second box. Now we will change. Consider two as a first add end. One as a second add end. So the answer is 3 itself. 1 plus 2 is 3. Otherwise 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Next. 1, 2, 3. 3 dots in the first box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 dots in the second box. Now what we have to do? Interchange. How do you change? By changing the order of the arrays. Order means first and second. Second as the first. Second array we are having 5. First array we are having 3. Now count total how many? Means what the sum we will get? 3 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We will get 8 itself. Next 5 plus 3. What the total we will get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the sum we will get 8 itself. Understood this one? Homework. You have to copy down in a notebook for one time. Then children, we will learn the same example in the textbook. Where we are having in the textbook page? In the textbook, page number 105. We are having these examples. We will see some more examples in the textbook and just copy it down. Then open textbook page 105. See children, page number 105. I will show you one example. Remaining all you had to com complete as a homework. At first, take down class work and today's date. Order property. Write this addition sentence in different orders. First example, we already learnt on the board. Now, count the the dots present in the first block. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are having 4 dots in the first block. And only 1 dot in the second box. Now what we have to do? We have to inter interchange the add ends. Means this first we have to consider as a. This second we have to consider as a first. And 1, 2, 3, 4. This 4 we have to consider as a second add end. Here what happened children? Here order of the addings changes as the first and then as the second, second and then as the first. But the sum what we are having, same we are having. Like this, what you have to do, you have to count the number of dots present in the box. Here, see children, here no dots we are having. At first we are having 5, then we are having no dots, we have to consider as a 0. Now, Second and end we have to consider as the first. There will be no dot in the second box. Which we are going to consider as a 0. And in the first box we are having 5. Write down 5. See by changing the order of that end. There will be no change in the sum. The sum we will get 5 itself. So if we are having no dots in the box means. What we have to do? We have to consider as a 0 dots. Like this. Complete for the remaining examples. It is also same we are having. Count the number of dots and write down the addition sentence. Okay children, complete as the homework. Send it. Bye.